Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Sign Up Genius. This is a way where you can create uh, digital signups um, that are very easy to use. And this is specifically going to show you how to set up your Sign Up Genius for office hours. Office hours meaning the um, two hour chunk of time ish per day that uh, students or parents can request to have one on one conversations with you um, through a Google Meet would probably be the best suggestion. This is the one I created as a test, just to show you from the beginning. I have it set up by date and by time slot. So I set up 15 minute time chunks in a two hour period of time from eight to 10. That's the uh, chunk of time on the schedule for related arts, but it's up to you. You can customize this to your needs. Um, I will say I have the free version of Sign Up Genius. I have been using this for five years at least, mostly for quick recall. Um, this is very easy for parents. This is not something that um, anybody's ever really had issues with. Anyone that I've used this with has usually said, oh, this is awesome, let's do more of this. So it's pretty easy to navigate once you get the link. And um, parents and students don't have to have a, an account they can just sign up. Um, I've also used this for our computer lab sign up this year and with students specifically for WMCK every week. Um, there were slots and the kids could pick their jobs and they figured it out. It wasn't hard. So again, this is what a finished one can look like. Now, how do you create one? So you will need to create an account. Once you've done that, you will be able to um, create your own sign up. This is kind of what your teacher page, ownership page looks like. Um, I've got a bunch because like I said, I've used this for a really long time. But you very simply will need to go up to the create a sign up in the screen and that's where we'll start. So we are going to name this sign up Office Hours. Then you're going to see select group. Um, you, it doesn't really matter unless you're going to import a list of contacts. I'm just going to pick Mazik. Then theme design. All the ones that have this little emblem mean that they are premium. There are plenty of basic free ones. I wouldn't stress too much. Just pick one. I like the standard one. It's not a big deal. So it gives you this little preview of office hours. And then it has this generic sign up direction, but I think that's generic. So I'm going to go in and edit that. Please review the available spots below. Blah, blah, blah. Nope, I don't like that. Please view the available slots below. So I changed it to please review the available slots below and pick a time to meet with me. Um, you will be sent a Google Meet invite prior to the start of your meeting time. These office hours are for students and parents to bring questions or concerns. Thank you. I just think it's a little bit more specific and then indicates that you are going to send a Google Meet invite to them, which if you've never done this before or if they've never done it, they wouldn't know. Save and continue. Now we're getting into the nuts and bolts. There are different ways that you can sign or create signups um, for like potluck style things. You don't need multiple dates. You just need slots. Sometimes you just need people for jobs. Um, 
but I want to sort by date since this is going to be an ongoing thing. So I'm going to add dates. Because we are on a limited time frame right now, I'm not necessarily going to pick recurring days. I'm going to manually select my days just because I think that's easiest. So the 7th, I'm going to go all the way to May 1st because right now that's kind of where we stand. And it's easy to go back in and delete dates that you don't want. All the way to the first. Yep, there it took. So I can scroll and I can see all of these things. And if you accidentally click a day that you don't want, just by hovering over it, it gives you the option to remove it. Okay. Um, for things like tournaments, for coaching, I've added locations of tournaments to get people to figure out who's interested, but this, you don't really need to worry about any of these boxes right now. So once you have all your dates selected, then you will click add. And sometimes it takes a minute. And now you will see all of the dates that you picked on the left. The next thing we want to do are add our time slots. So I clicked add slot. And this is where, depending on the chunk of time you're going to devote to office hours, you need to decide. You could go 10 minute chunks. I'm going to go 15. That way, in case it takes 10, you have five minutes in between to kind of recover. Um, it's, it's up to you. So, eight o'clock, two, eight, eight. I don't really need to add a comment. I just want one person in that time slot and I want it on all dates. So if you just hit save, it will save and it will take you back to the page where we were. And you'll see that now I have eight to 8.15 on all of my days. I have seven more slots to add. So I can go back in and I can add 15. 30. This is where I would hit save and add another because I have more to add. And it keeps me in the same window so that I can keep adding. 30. 5. Oh, and I hit save and had another, and I really don't need that, so I can close out. Now I can review my slots to make sure my times make sense. Oh no, I skipped a slot. What am I going to do? Well, see right here, go from 9.30, 9.45. I did do that on purpose, just so I can show you how to fix this if you goof. Go back to add slots. I'm going to go 9.30, 9.45. Still same thing on all dates. Save. But look, see how it shows up at the bottom? And at least for my brain, I don't like that. It doesn't make sense. So these arrows right here, if you click that, it allows you to resort. And on the left, you can drag and drop. And you can move it anywhere, but um, I would go in the order of time and have, so it's logical. But if you mistake, if you make a mistake and forget one, um, it's easy to go back in and change. And I did that the first time when I was doing the tester and figured that would be something that would be a common question. So that is why I'm showing you this step. So now you can look and you can see, okay, on the seventh, here are my slots. Here's what people can sign up for. And if you forgot a date, you can always, you know, rearrange things too as needed. 
All right, looks good. Let's scroll to the bottom, save and continue. I would like names, yes, emails. That way you have an email and you can send someone the link. If you click more, I'm gonna add a custom question because I don't really like going into conferences blind. Um, this is a question I added earlier in my test one, and I'm going to select that. But if you don't do that, you can just go to create a new question and type it in. But I want to know what people are interested in discussing. That way I can be ready and it's less, you know, off the cuff. All right. So I've selected that. I'm returning to sign up. So I have a custom question in there. Um, there are more options if you pay for the full version, but I'm, I'm not. I think this one does just enough. So now it gives you the, are you ready to publish step where you can scroll through and you can kind of see what's what. Right now, everything looks good and I'm going to publish. Once you've published, all you have to do is copy this link into your Google Classroom. Uh, you may even want to put it on your assignment tracker page. That way it's linked to the student portal or school portal rather, so parents can access this as well. But copying the link is super easy. And actually, I am going to put it on my assignment tracker. Remember the assignment trackers are found in Drive but it's not your drive. If you are in sixth, seventh, or eighth grade, you have an NTI drive. So like eighth grade would go to their NTI drive and they'd go to the school portal teacher pages. And you'll see your name and your document. And that directly links to the school's website and the district's website so parents can find what's due when. If you are related arts, we do not have an NTI drive, but in our folder we have, or in our drive, we have an NTI folder. School portal teacher pages. And I'm going to find me. And it's thinking. <laughs> So here's my assignment tracker. I am going to add the link. Paste. Sign up genius link. And I'm going to call it link for office hour. And then I'll probably go back in and kind of explain that a little bit in my letter. Go back in your signups. You can click on it. It usually loads faster. And you'll be able to see your office hours and see what everyone signs up for. And if you know you have something coming up, you can delete slots or you can sign up for them yourselves and block them out if something happens. All right. I would suggest right clicking on your tab and pinning this so that it goes into, it makes it harder for you to close out of and easier for you to find later. So I hope that was helpful and showed you how you can set things up for your office hours. Um, Sometimes there are glitches, it's a free program, but by and large, it's one of the most helpful things that I have found. So I hope this helped and reach out if you have any questions. Thanks.